Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we can go on a journey together to live our highest, truest, and most fulfilled version of ourselves. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I truly appreciate all your support. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Wow, it's been a while since I sat down and record and talk to you guys. I am glad I'm back. And with a perfect timing because the topic for today's video is about overcoming fear. I believe it's a relatable topic. I also think that we are all fearful of one thing or more. Either it's a public speaking or riding on an airplane or riding a boat or whatever it is. There's something that we are fearful about. And today, I'm sharing with you my fear. I overcame it and I'm so happy. So I am sharing it with all of you. This video came about because yesterday, Cinco de Mayo was our wedding anniversary. I'm trying to look for pictures to post on Facebook and I saw pictures of me and my husband uh, biking years back and also camping. Those were the pictures that he particularly loved because biking and camping were the two things that he really loved to do. I posted his pictures and then later at night, I was looking at those pictures and I just realized that that picture was the last picture. I was, you know, uh, the picture that I was uh, riding the bike. That was the last picture before my biking accident. That biking accident it wasn't really that bad, but that traumatized me for many years. What happened is I lost balance. I don't know what happened. We were like going down uh, the, a little hill in the camping site, and I lost balance and I fell uh, from the bike. And what I can remember is that it was painful. And I still have, it's just a slight, small scar in my right and uh, left elbow and thank god i did not have any fracture or any sprain or anything but i remember that it was so painful and i was so lucky because i was just like inches uh, away from a tree i could have like hit the tree and hit my head could have been worse with some blood it wasn't too much my husband you know did per first aid he was so good at that after that i totally refused to ride a bike. For many years, we you know, went back camping. I saw my daughter and my husband riding the bike, but even my husband says, come on, go back in. And I refuse. I totally don't want to do anything that pertains to biking or anything about biking. I was going in there again because I don't want to have another accident. I put that in my mind. It's so sad in a way, looking back, that something that I love and totally just kind of like wipe it out like oh i don't like it anymore because of that accident like i said almost 20 years that i haven't ride a bike so three years ago when i went home uh, for a vacation for seven weeks to the philippines and one day i was staying at my brother's house in Alveola village in, in Botuan city where I, I grew up where i was born their place there is about i would say 20 minutes away from the city every time they go in for an errand to buy we have uh, stores in there we call it convenience store every time they want something the bike was their means of transportation there in that village so one day after jogging uh, early in the morning everyone was still asleep I came back to uh, my brother's place and I sat down in their porch and I saw that bike. Someone was cheering me like, go ride the bike again, you can do this. You know, why are you fearful? This is something you love. Why are you not trying? It's like forcing me to do that. Well, I did. And I made sure that no one was watching because like I said, everybody was still sleeping. I rode the bike 
It was a smaller bike, so I had that confidence because, you know, just in case I lost balance, I can still use my legs to like brake. So I did it. And the first few tries, I was really having a hard time with my balance and, you know, just short distances. And, and then I tried and tried again, again, I tried again and farther, farther. And all I know, I definitely went farther and I did well. So I was like celebrating, I can't, uh, you know, I have this celebratory dance that I did. So I went home and my nephew is already awake and I said, I can, I can do this already. I was so excited telling him that I can ride the bike again. He said like, okay, show me, I want to see it. Like I said, okay, I was so excited to, sh to uh, show him that I can do this now because like I said, for many years they've been telling me to ride the bike, but I just refuse. But that day, I did it. Try to uh, show him that I can do this. And thankfully, he did a video uh, that I did it. So I, I'm so glad I had an evidence that I did it. I conquered my fear of um, riding the bike again. The little child in me was just, you know, was fully out and I was just dancing and um, screaming a little bit that I did it. Yeah, hey, Kabalo na yun! Kabalo na! It was all in my head, that fear, and I didn't do anything about it. Like, okay, you know what? I had that accident, you know, biking snapped for me, and I'm no, no longer gonna do it. But that was the wrong thing to do, because I love to bike. And if you love something, you need to, to do it. It gives you happiness, try it again. What I needed was just to take action, to take just a step. Tony Robbins, a motivational speaker and guru, who said that the number one reason why we fail or can't do the things that we want to do is because of the story that we built or that we made inside our head all the time in my story in my head is like if i ride that bike again i will have another accident it could be worse than my my last one that's not me at all i'm an eternal optimist this one for whatever reason with this biking thing i wasn't an optimist <laughs> i was just negative about the whole biking thing so i divorced that story in my head and Marry the truth, the joy of trying, of making that action, making that step. I think the biggest lesson is if you have a fear, the best thing that you can do is to take action, to take that step. If you are fearful of public speaking, do more public speaking because the more you do it, then the fear will slowly go away. Maybe if I had just tried it before when my husband told me, okay, come on, ride the bike again. If I have done it slowly, but surely, I would have not have that fear for like a long time. Imagine that almost 20 years to the time that I went back to ride a bike again three years ago. So conquer your fear by putting the right mindset and taking that first step and that first action. Without that, then that fear will just stay in your mind. You're not doing anything about it. That's my biking story. I'm hoping that you learn something from it. We can do it. We certainly can do it. I did it and I'm sure you can as well. Thank you for watching and be kind, be loving and be inspired. Take care everybody. Oh, 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 oh,